what have we done to Manchester City? What have we done to Manchester City that even with the sweet club or the, 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 the sweet players and the formidable team that they've come out with, they still want to sign a prolific one. And his name is Yosh Ko Vadio. Yeah. <laughs> Mind you, this season will be a tough one with a manner of names coming into the Premier League. Yeah, it's a difficult name to pronounce. Um, he's from uh, Croatia. Uh, we saw him at the World Cup and uh, he did tremendously well. Well, this is Football Intel and I'm here to discuss about Yoshko Vadio. <laughs> Welcome back. If you are new to this channel, please go there and subscribe. Click the subscribe button because this is a community. We're trying to form a community. And remember, like we said, the first hundred dollars that we make from this channel will be for charity. And what charity are we talking about? We're talking about kids in Nigeria, Africa, that wants to play this game that we love but don't have the opportunity to be well kitted. So we'll start from that space where we'll be contributing some boots, uh, maybe used boots, but quality ones for these young lads to use to play this game that we love. So welcome back, welcome back. We'll be talking about Yoshko Vadio. Yeah, still a tough name for me to call, but uh, this guy about, about having a tough name, he still have this toughness, and he, he's a player that is unique. Unique that he almost broke this record, the record of the highest paid or highest um, ever paid defender in the history of football. Remember the owner of this uh, title or the owner of this uh, remarkable feat is Harry Maguire, the one that the, the so-called outcast of Manchester United. And uh, you know that uh, this player, Yoshko, is a player that did so much well in the World Cup. And I think, uh, personally, I think the World Cup was the stage for him because he put up so much uh, um, show for scouts to identify him the more. Um, there was this part, if you watch the game against uh, Croatia, mind you, he's from Croatia, but I, I'll get into details of his background. Um, there was this game um, in the World Cup, Croatia versus Morocco, that he made a very remarkable pass from the defense. Okay, this particular pass, it was linear, linear that this pass was able to cut through seven Moroccan players. That is the kind of player he is. He plays from the back. He's a center uh, defender, center back, and uh, he can also play from the left side of the defense, of the center defense, of, of the defense. And he's a player that has been, has shown so much potential in terms of moving the ball from the back. And we know that Pep Guardiola is that coach that loves playing from, from the back. Remember one time Manchester City had a goalkeeper that was not able to play from the back and we know what happened. He was sent out of the team. So this is the kind of player they have. But won't be like, oh, come on. Is this not the same city that have many centre-backs? You're talking about Laporte. You're talking about John Stones. You have tremendous players out there. And why is it that City are going after this guy? Well, that's football for you, but also let's not also um, shy away from the fact that Laporte might not be um, a Manchester City player anymore because there is this strong indication that he might leave the club. And when you notice that, see, this same City have just only signed one player, okay? Yes, one person might be like, Manchester City, they have the money, they have the money, but mind you, when you have Haaland, the likes of Haaland, you have... Um, um, uh, name them. Numerous players out there. Kevin De Bruyne. Well, let me not just. This show is not just about naming players that Manchester City have. 
But yes, they are so, so fortified that one be like, who else do they need? But this is football. And this is Pep Guardiola, the, 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 the phenomenal tactician. So, um, this young lad, he's just 21, was born in January 2002. He started playing football at the age of seven. And who taught him how to play football? His father, who was an amateur footballer. And look at, from being an amateur footballer to having your child to play in the World Cup, to play with RB Leipzig, to play in Champions League, and now you are going to the champions of England, Manchester City. Going to, will I say, shatter the record for RB because he'll be going for 77.5 million pounds. 77.5 million pounds. And this announcement will be so, so worrisome for Chelsea. Why do I say that? Because last year, in September, Chelsea wanted this lad. But what then happened? RB said no, they were not going to sell him. But now, the young man is going to Manchester City. So the question the question now remains. What then happens? Will he be deployed to play from the left side of the defense as left back? Or will he just wait for his time to come? But you ask, will City be spending 77.5 million pounds for somebody to just be sitting at the bench? Big fight for persons like Nathan Ake for, for me. Nathan Ake has also shown that he is a, a prolific or, or, or a very good defender. Look at what, how, how outstanding he was during the last season. A player that, if you check around the whole Bamont team of his time, and many of those the players that played with him have all gone. And there's one just good thing about playing in a fine club like Manchester City. Reason why I'm seeing this lad, Vladio, being somebody that in the next few seasons might just be there, maybe dragging it to become the best footballer of the year. Well, I have to stop here and I thank you for watching to this moment. Please make sure you subscribe to this channel. Click on on that.